folks back for another installment of Doula School. In today's episode, the age-old question, how much should I charge? Well, good question, and there are so many different factors that go into that, right? The first is thinking about our target market, and I always tell doulas, when you're starting out in business, you need to do two things first. Number one, you need to set your goals. What are your financial needs? What are your goals for your business and for your work as a doula? Second, who is your target market? Who is that person that you're going to, the typical person, that customer avatar of the person that would make your ideal birth doula client? If you don't know the answer to those two things, nothing else is going to feel easy. Everything else is going to feel harder to figure out. So if you know the answer to those two questions, then you can determine how much to charge. If you're working for under-resourced communities, maybe you're going to want to work at a reduced rate or you're gonna wanna work on a sliding scale. Or maybe, best idea, you're gonna partner with a charity in your community that hopefully can get some funding for doula services so that you get paid a full doula rate to be able to do this important work. That is a fair exchange for all of that effort and energy that it takes to support families. Um, But the second thing is maybe you'll find someone who's willing to partner together to do some grant writing to get funding for you to be able to do that work. Now, let's say your client is a middle class coupled family who having a planned pregnancy, who are professionals in their careers, and so they have means to pay for doula services. So let's talk a little bit about that fee, because I think that's where a lot of doulas find themselves. They're willing to go out there. Their target market is someone who can afford doula services. Now, if your client can afford doula services, right, then thinking about what, first of all, there's, of course, a range of affordability in an area. But doula services, like all things, are going to be dependent on where you live right? There's no one price. When someone says, how much should I charge? If you go on Facebook in a doula group and you say, how much should I charge? Well, it depends. It depends where you live, right? So I live in the suburbs of a big city and I have different pricing for the big city and for the suburbs because the cost of living is different in those two places and people make different amounts of money in each of those places. And I'll tell you another thing is my costs differ when I'm serving each of those places. So in my local suburban community here, if I go to a hospital, I'm probably spending $20 on parking while I'm there. But if I go downtown, which is only 45 minutes away, non-traffic time, if I go downtown to support a client, which during traffic time is an hour and a half to get there, parking is typically $30 a day. I'm often going to run over two separate days in in the parking calendar. and I'll end up spending $60 in parking. Well, $60 in parking is really different than $20 in parking, isn't it? And me getting there and paying for parking when I do prenatal visits, paying for gas when I do prenatal visits, all of those things are gonna be different in my costs when I'm supporting families in each location. Now, if I drive 30 minutes the other way, I could go to a hospital where I spend $5 in parking in my rural community. So there's a lot of variation and what people make in each of those communities is gonna vary. Now, here's a rule of thumb that I've realized over the years. I have noticed, I've talked to people all over the world. If you ask someone, how much does a month of childcare cost in your community normally? So I'm talking about places that have private daycare um, or childcare that people pay for, right? This obviously isn't gonna work if childcare doesn't cost anything in your country. But a month of childcare in your community, how much does that cost? And what I've noticed over many years. I've been following this for probably the last 12 or 15 years. It's almost always exactly the same amount as what a typical doula charges in that community. So in my suburb area, about $1,200 for a month of childcare. That's how much doulas are charging around here, between $1,000 and $1,200. Now, if I look downtown, how much are people charging downtown? Well, probably more like $1,300 to $1,600 is sort of your average daycare cost, right, for a baby. That's how much doulas are charging there. Now, if you're in New York City, that price is going to be different. If you're in LA, that price is is going to be different. But you're in a tiny little rural town in Idaho, that price is going to be different. And I think our fees are going to be commensurate with the cost of living in the area we serve. Now, people say, oh, but I'm new. Should Should I just offer my services for free to get experience? I talk about this all the time. 
if you want to do that and that makes you feel good, do that. Because a lot of people say, don't do that. You're going to devalue the industry. Here's what devalues an industry. When you provide a high level of service to people who can afford it for free, for no good reason, that can devalue a service. But if you're providing pro bono support to someone who would never be able to pay for doula services, do you think that devalues the industry? Mm. Ask some questions on that one to get your answer, right? For me, no, I'm not taking away uh, money that that person would have been paying for the service. Now, I'll tell you something. A lot of people, they just put it out there when they're new. I'll work for anyone for free. And if you support someone who could afford doula services and you don't charge them, what I've found is that doulas are often, they feel bad after doing that when they see those people spending money on all kinds of other things expensive strollers and trips and this and that. And they feel like, how come they didn't pay me? Hey, they didn't pay you because you didn't ask for money. That's why, right? So if you're going to work for someone who has the means to pay for dual services, charge them for your dual services. If you would like to work for free to gain experience, and that's legitimate. Hey, you look around, every profession does that. Every profession has a hands-on component as part of their profession where they typically get paid nothing or reduced rate. If you want to do that, I totally support you doing that. Because if you work for someone who is really under-resourced, those people benefit the most from doula services, according to research, right? So that would be such a wonderful service to your community. Then do that with people who can't afford it. Where do you do that? Call all the charities, support groups for single parents, abuse shelters, um, teen pregnancy centers, um, newcomer centers, Anyone, look, look at all the charities in community. There are dozens of them. Call them up and see if you might be able to provide some pro bono services to people who might need them. They'll probably be pretty excited that you did that and that you said so, uh, and that they'll be able to support a family better in their community and in their care. So how much do you charge? Well, approximately one month's worth of daycare when you're up and running. Now, of course, if you're newer and you don't have a lot of experience, maybe you charge on the lower end of that when you're start getting started. If you want, and if that feels, if that's what you feel like you should do. Um, but there's nothing that says you have to do that, right? A lot of people come to do the work and they have so much life experience and so much other related experience. I mean, someone who comes in who's got 10 years of social work experience, I don't think that person's new when they start as a doula. Maybe they haven't attended a lot of births yet, but I don't think you're new in terms of really the big picture of the doula support that we provide, right? So listen, I don't know everything there is to know about this, and my opinion is just one opinion, but Food for thought, some things to help you as you plan how much to charge. Good luck and happy doodling.